How many of you remember this school celebration? <laughs> Although brief, there was a time where this was the most viral goal celebration in the world. At its height, probably even more popular than... <laughs> <laughs> That's because back then, Deli Ali was once seen as the most valuable midfield transfer in the entire world, and to many, the greatest English wonder kid since Wayne Rooney. Seriously, at his best, Deli Ali was scoring absolute screamers like this. Is Deli Ali arriving? Good first touch! Oh, what a goal! Aldebar out, and Ali has drifted in, and Ali! However, it wouldn't last long. For various reasons, some foolish and some just honestly complicated, would start to rapidly decline. And with the words of his former manager, Jose Mourinho, maybe he was right. I have no doubts about your potential. You become a party boy. And I think one day, I think you will regret. I think you should demand more from you. But fast forward and his career has come crashing down, finding himself playing in the Turkish Super League for Besiktas at only 27 years old. At one point of his career, Deli Ali was even more focused on video games than actual football, particularly playing Fortnite. And you could see that passion leaking out even to his celebrations on the pitch, even becoming an esports professional on the side, streaming longer than he would spend time training in the gym or in the practice facility. At one point, even being so seriously addicted that his girlfriend would break up with him for playing too much Fortnite. But was it really just a case of laziness in training or an overall lack of ambition? Well, many believe so. But it's kind of strange for a footballer who's showing so much promise to suddenly burning out like that. I mean, there are a lot of videos out there about Deli Ali's decline that either blames injuries or his gaming addictions. But it's simply the case of what happened. I always wondered if there was more behind it. And I wanted to ask just why the gaming addiction even happened. But as we learned in 2023, it goes much, much deeper than that. The video games, although a big part, really only scratch the surface of the story as to why such a promising promising wonder kid like Dele Ali eventually lost passion for the game. And looking back at the beginning of his rise in 2014, nobody could have been the wiser to the life that Dele Ali lived. He would start off his career for his hometown club, Milton Keys Dons, in League One, which if you aren't familiar, is basically the English third tier division. Essentially, compared to many other wonder kids, he was a nobody. Yet in 2014, he was part of the side that embarrassed Manchester United 4-0 in the League Cup, putting this unknown 18-year-old on the radar for several Premier League clubs, as he would be handed the League One Young Player of the Year award. From then, he would start his era at White Hart Lane playing for Tottenham, where we would witness one of the most incredible ascents in Premier League history for any wonder kid, because almost instantly, the 19-year-old Deli Ali would become a star. The teenager would produce a total of 21 goal contributions throughout the season, having 10 goals and 11 assists, which for someone his age was actually incredibly impressive, especially back then. Even when being called up to England's men's team for the first time, the Wonder Kid would score in his very first match. But no doubt the highlight of the season was watching the teenager score a truly Pushkas-worthy goal, which, by the way, didn't even finish in the shortlist for the award. It at least got some praise, as he deservedly won the Premier League goal of the season. And such an incredible debut for a youngster that nobody really expected to be that good was awarded with the PFA Young Player of the Year award and was included in the Premier League Team of the Year as a teenager. Then the very following 16-17 season, the 20-year-old had made an even bigger improvement in his game, providing a total of 35 goal contributions throughout the season with 22 goals and 13 assists, helping Tottenham have probably their best season ever, finishing the league in second place thanks to the crucial goals in big matches against bigger clubs from their star boy earning Deli Ali back-to-back -back PFA Player of the Year awards and consecutive placement in the Premier League Team of the Year, the last player since Wayne Rooney to do so. Deli Ali was a very interesting type of midfielder. Despite being so young, he had one of the best off-ball movement, spatial intelligence, and especially touch and finishing. 
It was almost like he was a goal poaching forward who just happened to be a midfielder. Sure, he didn't have insane dribbling control like Iniesta, nor was he a visionary genius like Kevin De Bruyne. But the way that he controlled oncoming balls, moved around the box and finding the best positions and spaces, then calmly finishing with incredibly placed shots, truly seemed almost effortless. And when you add in the way that he could link up and improve spacing for his teammates, especially Harry Kane, he was truly a midfielder with the skill sets of a striker. However, after signing a massive six-year extension with the club that would supposedly keep him until 2024, Dele Alli had began to significantly cool off. And it wouldn't help that he would begin to suffer a string of injuries, suffering four injuries over the next 18 months. As in the season that would end with him and the Spurs reaching the Champions League final, he would all in all miss a total of 23 matches because of hamstring problems, thigh strains, and a broken hand. A total of 103 days out due to injury in the 2018-19 season. And it was during these times of injury recovery that Dele Alli would really start to spiral into his video gaming addiction. He was beginning to spend a lot of time perfecting his PC build and setup, and it was around this time that he would start to heavily focus on streaming. I mean, over a hundred days out due to injury, I guess there really isn't much else to kill time with. But even after the injuries, his love for video games would seemingly overtake his passion for football. And I know, Fortnite was an incredibly popular game at the time, and he can do whatever he wants in his spare time. But maybe Deli Ali took it a little bit too far. Because as we'll talk about later, it turns out he would have past traumas that would lead him to become easily addicted to different things. And as a sign to show just how committed he was to gaming, Deli Ali would even sign with a professional esports brand. But all that would really start to affect his discipline and dedication to football. As in late 2019, Spurs would sack then manager Maurizio Pochettino and replace him with no other than the chosen one, Jose Mourinho. And if there's one thing that we should all know by now about Jose Mourinho, it's that he's incredibly strict, serious, and no BS. And if he sees players who he thinks aren't giving enough effort, he'll definitely let them know. I, I told already Delhi very, very uh, directly, it's not a good, a good trend here. We need to find the right motivation for the guy. Where is Delhi? I understood already that you are a fucking lazy guy in training. I don't need more days. Lazy. You fucking lazy. Every and well, Mourinho wasn't exactly wrong. At the time, Delhi Ali was definitely not giving it his all. And what would only make things worse is that he would suffer another string of injuries, this time the second most in his young career, with 49 days gone due to further injuries with his hamstring. And with the public eye turned to Deli Ali, especially with a Tottenham documentary on Netflix, the fans in public quickly turned on him, causing his mental health to suffer greatly. But in 2023, he would go on an interview with Gary Neville and publicly address everything. And it really starts all the way back his childhood. Deli Ali grew up in an incredibly toxic environment. He was incredibly poor, his mother was an alcoholic, and he was even sexually abused as a child from a family friend. And by the time he was eight years old, he would actually be used to peddle drugs as he was told, and I quote, the police wouldn't stop a kid. It was so bad that he had to leave his biological family and was luckily adopted by amazing foster parents at the age of 12. So as a youngster, Deli Ali was incredibly hungry and motivated to escape poverty in that terrible situation and make something out of his life. Football wasn't his biggest priority. He wanted to pay back his foster family with financial success and never go through what he had to go through as a kid again. And when he finally achieved that with a massive contract extension with Tottenham, the hunger, fire, and passion just wasn't the same for Deli Ali since. And his unique playing style really relied on just that. That hunger and effort helped him become one of the most intelligent off-ball moving midfielders and deadly finishers in the world. But when he started receiving those string of injuries, his addictive personality took control and really got him into that big two-year phase, focusing on video games more than football. And as he revealed in his interview, he was taking sleeping pills and having other vices for years to help him deal with all of his childhood trauma, an addiction that would follow him throughout his entire career. Just up until recently, when Deli Ali went to the US to go through a few months of rehabilitation. For a childhood like Deli Ali had, surrounded by drugs, alcohol, and experiencing sexual abuse, it's kind of hard to fully blame him for his lack of passion after securing financial stability for himself and his foster family. 
Trust me, I get it. He still did owe it to the fans, but the unjust criticism he received at the time for that Netflix documentary was just a little bit too much. And this comment right here is the perfect example. Stood already, where is Ellie? I understood already that you are a fucking lazy guy in training. I don't need more days. Lazy. Because as Deli Ali says right here, I'm laughing. I learned that this is my defense as well, laughing and smiling. So. But of course, back then, he was misunderstood by the tabloids, viewers, and a majority of fans in general that simply saw him as arrogant and lazy. But according to him, he's now in the best mental state he's ever been in his career. And honestly, I hope for nothing but the best. He had a truly incredibly unique style of play and just had such amazing touch and finishing. However, he did have to go through surgery for a long-term groin injury and currently has been out of football for over 300 days. But on the bright side, he's still fairly young at 27 years old. And as he said, his passion and eagerness to play football is higher than it's ever been in years. And if he can revive that commitment and discipline after recovering, I believe there's a chance we still might see that prime Deli Ali once again.